What's up folks, Man Amazing here and welcome back to the channel. So the day is finally here. We are getting started with a first a real tutorial series uh, based in the first person shooter genre. This is definitely going to be a multi-part series. I don't want it to drag it on too long because I want to do other things, but I definitely want to go in depth enough that you guys get a lot out of it. So real quick, this video is going to be kind of short because I want to use already pre-made tools for you guys. Most of you should already know how to set up input bindings and how to get the character move it, moving since we have done that in the past. If you're brand new to the channel and you're just coming in on this video, check out my older tutorials on how to get things moving and how to set up either a script canvas or Lua for the first time. Or you can actually download these files that I'm going to talk about and learn from that. So head over to my gum road. Download the toolbox asset It's free. Uh, it's a pay what you want. So it's virtually free. If you guys want to donate uh, via that, you can, but you don't have to. And right now it has an input binding and a default movement script that's made in script canvas. So to first set up our player, let's right click and let's make an entity. And we're gonna call this first person controller. All right. And on here, we're going to add our input. And once you download the package and you put it inside of your folder, you're going to see something resembling this input underscore first person controller input binding. Let's add that. And if you open that, we're going to have different inputs for forward, backward, left, right, our default movement, our mouse X, mouse Y for camera rotation and look up, sprinting, fire weapon, weapon one, weapon two for switching, jumping, uh, things like that. So we're gonna be adding even more inputs as the videos go on, but that is a good starter point for almost any game that you can think of, especially in the 3D realm. All right, so since we're treating this as a character, we want to go ahead and add character physics. And I also want to add a primitive collider, which is then going to X or require a uh, shape component, which we're going to use capsule. OK, so now let's close out that and under your first person controller, let's right click, create child entity. We want to name that camera or FP camera. And on that, of course, we're going to add the camera. Right there. All right, and then we can adjust that how we need to. Make sure it's in front of the player so it's not going in raise it up and if I look out all right now one thing you're gonna have to deal with is when you're using things like physics you see this icon here that is basically zero point so when you I can show you when you put that backwards so we can see when you play oh sorry I need to actually show game view okay so when you hit play you see that it sets the zero marker right there in the middle of the capsule which we do not want so let's exit out of that and what we want to do is go over to our character physics here put down player dynamics we want to use capsule and as you can see right here you have collider have height at a 0.6 and 0.6 is what's setting us in the middle. So we basically just want to double that. So let's put that to 1.2, hit enter, go back into game. And now we have it sitting correctly. So now we can move our camera back where we wanted it. So let's move it up just a little bit. Make sure it looks like we're uh, high from the ground. 
Okay. And now we go back to the controller. Let's close that. And let's add our strip campus. That's also part of the toolbox on my gum road. So that is going to be, let's close that. Default movement, hit okay. And then you have two uh, variables for move speed and jump force. Don't worry about jump force right now. There's gonna be a separate video for jumping, um, but let's hit play. And now we will left, right, forward, backward. We can move. Let's actually up that speed to 0 0.3. A little bit better. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know below. Other than that, I hope you guys are having a very dope day. Hope you guys are excited about the series as I am. And until next time, guys, always remember to keep developing.